What's up comic creators? I wanted to show you something that could very easily ruin all your hard work uh, if you're using the CapCut mobile app um, at the end of your project. If you've done all the things you can do, you edited, you recorded your audio, all this stuff, unbalanced audio can be a real problem and could make uh, any creator's life a living heck. So I've got some audio in this uh, video that I edited. Just take a listen. Guys, this is my new uh, vlog for a day in the park. I'm going to talk about all the crazy things that I've done. And you can see that, uh, you know, I've got some balance levels here. I've got my voiceover that I did, and then I've got my um, background music. And a lot of times, if you're not taking uh, the time to make sure that these audio levels are good, uh, it'll ruin your entire project. So as you can see, this is my voiceover. I recorded this in CapCut. When I click Guys, play, you can hear that. Um, but I am adjusting the audio levels. Typically when you record in CapCut, the audio level is uh, a little bit lower. Guys, this is my Every time new, I adjust it, it uh, auto plays. For uh, but you can kind of see talk about that, all the crazy um, things that as I adjust it, I had to kind of that... pull the audio up over closer to the thousand mark in that 340 range. There is no audio reader in the CapCut mobile app. In the CapCut desktop app, are you have a uh, audio reader where you can see the levels of audio and you can tell when it's ear blistering noise. So you have to kind of play this by ear in the app because there's no way to read it. Even if you have an external downloaded audio uh, reader, it's not going to play at the same time as the as the app. And so now I'm adjusting the background music. Now you can see I've turned that background music way down, um, way down on there. It's sitting at about 20. So when you play it, uh, you know, you'll see because every time you adjust Guys, it, it does this, it this automatically plays. New, uh, um, but you can see how a day in the, park, um, the background music is not overpowering done. the voice. Uh, but was... you'll always want to turn that music down. If I turn it all the way up or even at normal level, if I just go normal, you'll see how louder it is right now. It's just crazy Guys, loud my new, on there and overpowers uh, the voice. And you have to be park, very I'm aware of these things. If you're adding in sound levels, or, or sorry, sound uh, sound effects or anything like that. Those are things you want to be aware of, how loud these things are. And the only way to do it if you're going to edit videos in the app is to test the audio levels this way, to play it back and play it by ear. Guys, this is my So you can see how much lower uh, that is now. For much better. A day in the park. I'm Don't make fun of my the crazy things uh, voiceover. Uh, the park today uh, skills. It's not. I know nice I'm not a, a, a voiceover actor. So that is the only way to test those levels. If you do not do this and you're not checking the uh, audio levels in your in your phone, you turn it or a device. You turn the audio all the way up after you've exported the the project. Do uh, and you test it before you upload Guys. it. This is my new. As you can see, I'm uh, testing it vlog here. for a day in the park. I'm going to talk about all the crazy and things that's a that I've little done. Bit better. Uh, while I was at the park today, over slightly some better. Nice you can kind of see the, You can kind of hear the difference through. there. It's going to be amazing. If you do not amazing. test these, it will ruin you. A lot of people like to go and use that feature within the mobile app to just upload it directly to YouTube, and I would strongly encourage you not to do that. I would encourage you to just save it to your device and test those audio levels. Turn the volume all the way up on your device. Pop in your headphones and see if it's ear blistering and uncomfortable. This is an audio uh, reader uh, that I've downloaded, a separate app, and I thought it would be useful, but it, it's not. There's no way to get this thing to read uh, what's on my device. And and uh, and so it just kind of becomes pointless. I wish I could point you guys to an app that can do this, but if you're gonna edit in the app on your device, um, then you're gonna have to kind of play this by ear with the CapCut app. Whereas if you had it on your desktop, because it, it works for both Windows and Mac, if you if you were editing on desktop, there is an audio reader, uh, audio level reader built into the um, app itself. So I hope that this helps you guys out. Um, you can kind of see my audio levels. Hopefully that works for you or just get an idea of what you're looking for. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comments section below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please take the time to like, comment, and subscribe as it helps us to further please our YouTube overlords. Check out more links in the description for continued assistance on your CapCut projects. And please keep your arms and legs inside the craft until it comes to a complete stop. Be sure to mind your headspace and watch your step as you exit. Failure to comply may result in serious injury or death. We will see you next time, Comet Creators. End transmission.